Hi, my name is Bob Lindy. I'm an herbalist and an herb grower. Today I'm going to talk to you about parasites and pumpkin seeds and squash. So certainly with any type of seed you may harvest or fruit that you may be growing, there's a potential that you'll get some parasites or little weevils or worms that may be in with your seeds that you've saved. So it's important every time you go ahead and harvest some seeds from pumpkin or any of your summer or winter squash, that as we dry it, we keep an eye on it and make sure that there's no little holes bored into it or there's no little insects flying around. Every once in a while, unfortunately, we do get some parasites in there. Oftentimes, it's best to just go ahead and throw that particular crop out. So if we're saving from different seeds from different pumpkins or different squashes, I like to keep them separate just in case one of them's gotten a few parasites in it. Don't try to save the seeds once it's already broken through the shell of that seed. We can pretty much discount the effectiveness of that seed in germination. So we'll throw that crop away, save it from another pumpkin, or go ahead and just start over and make sure that we haven't had a problem. If you're getting them into your fruit, you want to make sure that you get a good uh, insecticide that's all natural, such as some neem oil, that we can go ahead and use to prevent the invasion of any of uh, the parasites into our existing plants. And ultimately, we need to make sure we have good, rich soil that keeps our plants healthy and maintain healthy plants to keep those parasites away. So this is Bob Lindy talking about parasites in our pumpkin seeds and squash. Please enjoy your herbs.